Welcome to Tanaka in three, two, one. Welcome to Tanaka in three, where I bring to you my thoughts on life and leadership, focused down to three practical points in under three minutes. I subscribe to the idea that we need to put ourselves in a position to be lucky. However, there is such a thing as dumb luck. Number one, we have no choice of where and when we are born, nor do we choose our parents. We also have no choice over what situation or culture we are born into. These things are totally out of our control. Bill Gates once said that without Lakeside High School, the school he attended, there would be no Microsoft. That school was the only school that had a computer. Don't overlook the importance of luck. Malcolm Gladwell in his book Outliers shows that yes, Bill Gates was exceptional and yes, he was smart, but he was also born into the right situation. The perfect age to be in 1975 is old enough to be a part of the coming revolution, but not so old that you missed it. Ideally, you want to be 20 or 21, which is to say born in 1954 or 1955. Bill Gates, born October 1955. Paul Allen, January 1953. Steve Ballmer, March 1956. Steve Jobs, February 1955. Eric Schmidt, April 1955. And so on. Number two, I was quite lucky to be born in a family, a culture where hard work, less complaining, not expecting handouts was a key part of my upbringing. I had great parents who encouraged these things, and even though we were not rich, that ethic was a foundational part of my success. I was lucky, and I admittedly struggle with being sympathetic with those less fortunate who, in my opinion, aren't working hard enough to get out of that unfortunate culture. I need to realize it's hard. Maybe they weren't so lucky to be born into a better environment. I need to be more sympathetic and less judgmental. Number three, what can we do to put ourselves in a position to be lucky? Well, for one, stop complaining and do something about being put into an unfair situation. Yes, hard work and being industrious can make a significant difference. Two, ask for help, not as a handout, but something where you have every intention of paying back in some way. Three, identify and leverage what you have been blessed with. For example, if you're good with numbers, find a career where it will help you stand out. If you are good with people, network. Take action, make a difference. You want more? Check out www.lancetanakagroup.com. <laughs>